Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. And judging by the number of likes in the last episode, I can tell a lot of you liked my little little light display here. Um, a few of you actually did figure out what I was what I was actually doing here, and I'm gonna show you what I did. Uh, I'm actually gonna get these beacons out of the way so I can explain it a little bit better. Why do I always use a tool in Creative? I have no idea. But basically, what I have done is I have made a distributor. Uh, this is it here. I put a lot of weight on it. I was trying to slow this thing down. It was getting pretty pretty fast. But yeah, I'm using the hover pad spinner and I'm using the disconnect, re uh, the reconnection feature of the switchboards to actually get the power. And these are basically my power nodes. And now if you don't know what a distributor does, a distributor is a thing in a car that's a little motor that rotates and has uh, it connects power to f the pins that lead to wires going to the spark plugs. It could be four or six or even eight, depending on the car, but that's an older style firing system. So yeah, that's what I did. I have my power going all the way up there, and then it, I measured the timing so or the spacing to try to minimize the, the delay. That's why it's offset a little bit. Instead of being right in the middle, it moved over a little bit to try to reduce the flicker and reduce the overlay. So uh, I'll show you, let's get out of this because that is really blinding. Uh, I've had a few issues too with wires going missing and as you can tell trying to figure that out ain't gonna work too well. <laughs> Never is. But I'll just start this thing up and I'll show you a few things of what it can do. Uh, I have three buttons here. Uh, this one has two pads, this one has one, this one has one. And that's just for a variable speed control. And uh, I was, actually I was on two, it's going to one. Because I was throwing the timing out on my little little gadgets here. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, basically it's just a timing device. It allows you to uh, best way to give show you is just to give you an example. So I just set this little thing up here. It's just two hover pads. I should be pushing a ball back and forth, but they don't because the ball gets stuck. All right, I'll do this one instead. This one works better. So that hover pad goes on, then this hover pad goes on and pushes the other way. And this one goes on, and this one goes on, and then that one goes on. And then what I've done is I've wired all four of those pins in order to this board. So I have one, two, three, four. So now all I, all I have to do is whenever I want to build something, I just wire it up to that. I even did something with the air blades too to give you an idea of the f call it firing order. So as you can see, as it gets power, it engages the power pad, or the air blade. And then when it loses power, it drops back down. And because of the, you can actually see what it's doing here. You can see the blue line is moving to the next pin. And of course, like I said, you can always adjust the speed on this. Go over here and just get full speed. Let's watch the air blades do a little dance took a lot of weight to slow that thing down. It was going su super fast. And there we go. And it's variable speed. I was trying to uh, mess around with the variable speed motor here, but the hover pads are a little iffy sometimes in the spinner, especially when there's not a lot of weight on it. Kind of jerks a little bit. But that was it. It uh, opens up a whole new world of possibilities if you can get something like this, because Using something like this, you might actually be able to get like a drive system for some sort of walking vehicle or something that moves, right? It's, it's basic level programming is what it really is. The only, the only issue is, is like I said, like I said before, uh, if you have any switchboards that are powered and they're connected to something and that switchboard happens to get powered then it just causes a huge massive overlay in the grid. I bet you if I turn this thing on it'll start messing up the air blades. Okay, that one stays on and then here I got both hover pads turning on. And I have a short circuit. And there we go. So yes it is definitely interesting. I really want to try to come up with something to do with this. 
this and all the other things that I've done uh, also at the same time too, I'm, I've been thinking about the amount of power that these hover pads have. They're moving all this weight and that's just that was one of them originally that was moving it. Well, I can get one of them moving it, but it's besides the point, but that's that's a lot of weight. Maybe I should be using that for the spider instead, but I'd have want to do some more uh, back to the drawing board, I guess, with uh, the old hover pad motor. Been thinking about an idea. I'm not sure where it's going to go. I'm not exactly sure where the series is going to go either. I don't know if I want to keep going with these small little projects or just start going to bigger things and try to stretch it over episodes throughout a week or two, for instance. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's not like they're going to be having weekly updates anymore. It's more like they're going to be focusing on you know, more fuller updates, fixing things and whatnot. But anyways, I'm going to call this episode here. It's been, I haven't been feeling the greatest lately. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like and I'll see you in the next one. Later.